Hiya, thanks for joining me on this short video on how to solve this vintage clock puzzle box. If you haven't already, please take a look at my three earlier videos on how this puzzle box was made. On first inspection you'll see there's a lock on the side and two combination padlocks on the back. Also there's a small chute at the bottom here. So the first thing to do is to take off this panel at the top which reveals a key. That key quite obviously opens the lock. The next thing to do is to remove this finial And this allows you to open up the box in the front face of the clock. Inside there is a small bottle. And you can take it out with some trouble. You find there's a glass bottle or a glass jar with a message inside it. The message reads, it was one dark evening in the winter of 1928, 15 years ago, an old traveller came knocking at my door, seeking shelter for the night. I have no idea where he came from, as my dwelling is four miles from the nearest road. But the poor wretch was freezing, so I sat him in front of the fire and gave him a blanket. When he went on his way at first light, he gave to me the five rules of gold, which he said could change my life. And they did. Now I offer them to you, should you succeed. There's a number of numbers on this um, piece of paper, but there are only four which are actually re written as figures, and that's 15, 4, and 5, which is 15.45. That gives you the time that you have to set the clock to. You hear that makes a click. Now this in itself doesn't do anything until the door is closed. So this finial has to be removed, the door is closed, and the coin is released. Now this is a British half crown coin, and there are a number of letters on there obviously. And apart from it saying half crown at the bottom, there are two lots of three letters here. F-I-D-D-E-F. If you look at their position in the alphabet, then F would be 6, I would be 9, and D would be 4, and D, E, F would be 4, 5, 6, which gives us the numbers we need for the locks on the back of the clock. So we need 6, 9, 4. Very fiddly. And 4, 5, 6. Which opens up the back and reveals a set of drawers and a couple of clues. This one says, the endless chimes, the slow misty moon, the baying of the wolf means one thing, it must be midnight. This actually isn't a clue, a bit of a red herring this one, it's just to get you to set the hands back to midnight to uh, take the power off the solenoid. This one's a bit more intriguing. It says one might approach the fox for his intelligent sagacity, but one should never face provoking the delusiveness of the jackal. And there's also three numbers here, 14, 15 and 20. Now there's one big panel on the back here, which doesn't seem to do anything. Um, there's actually, that's a false drawer. And there's one drawer that actually does move. And the rest are locked. So opening this drawer, pull the insert out, reveals a piece of paper with three holes on it. It also says bottom on there. Now if you place this piece of paper over the bottom of the second clue, it reveals three words. 
Ace, King and Jack. Now one club I haven't mentioned is actually on the front face of the clock. We turn it back round again and at the bottom there it says a quality timepiece from the inverted drawer release company. Well, that is telling you that to release the drawer you need to invert the clock. Now when I was first designing this puzzle I didn't realise just how heavy it was going to be. So in hindsight I think having to turn it upside down is probably a bad idea. But it is still possible carefully to turn it upside down. And then if you wiggle the third drawer down it releases a pin. And allows you to take the drawer out. Now this drawer appears to be empty, but on moving it there's a simple maze inside which contains three cards. And there just happens to be an ace, king and a jack in there. Now these three cards can be placed into this drawer in the correct order. There's also an arrow to show you which direction to put them in. And this then can be placed back into its part position in the uh, box. Now when that drawer is inserted you should be able to open this drawer. Which you now can because the brass cat has been released. And inside here you find what looks like a very plain brass key. Now this drawer now has to be closed again. If you look carefully here there's a small slot which corresponds to the size of this brass key. But placing it in there doesn't do anything. You need to take the brass key out and you'll see there's a sharp edge on one end. Replace it back into the handle, place that in the slot and that now releases this drawer and also sets off the chime. And there you've reached your target, the bar of gold. And words of wisdom. Here we have the five laws of gold. I won't read them out to you but the words are here if you want to read them yourselves. Or you can read them in this book, The Richest Man in Babylon. It's actually a, an interesting book about personal finance basically, so um, yeah, well worth a read. Well, thanks for watching this video, and if you'd like to see more, then please like and subscribe. Cheers!